Okay, now I'm going to draw you a pretty picture that tells you the whole story of energy transfers on Earth. You know ATP has a role. But the story goes bigger, and it starts out actually in the sunshine. I can't remember how long the sun is going to burn, but the sun produces light and heat through the process of nuclear fusion. fusion. Nuclear fusion. We're not going to say anything else about it. <laughs> Another place of physics, like knock yourself out, home kids, have fun learning about it. It's crazy cool. Basically, the temperatures and pressures in the gaseous sun, our gaseous amazing sun, are so huge that hydrogen atoms combine and form helium atoms. And the act of fusing two atoms, fusing into one, releases an absolute doo-doo load of energy, hence our sunshine shining down upon us. This is the source. This is not endless. You can imagine that the heat energy that comes to like whatever the moving molecules that comes from the sun. Well, we can talk about that. <laughs> Not all of it gets into our atmosphere. A lot of it is dissipated into space. It's lost to us and our sun won't burn for forever. And I can't remember how many like billions of years our sun has left. Um, and I'm not going to comment on that at all, but eventually the sun will burn out because that those atoms will all turn from hydrogen into helium and we won't have the fuel to continue nuclear fusion. But we won't, we won't be alive to deal with that. We won't, we humans. Thankfully, that not thankfully that we won't be alive. Some humans might be alive at that time in 8 billion years. It would be lovely to think that they would be alive. You can't do doo-doo with sunlight. As much as I wish you could, because boy, oh boy, I wish I could. I wish I could go out and lay in the sun and have that be an entire meal and then not have to eat ever except for, for, for fun. But that is not our future. But who can do something with sunlight energy? Here's our Pictionary game. Who is this? Plants. Plants go through the process of photosynthesis. And they use the energy from the sun to build Sugar, that's supposed to be an apple. That's an apple. It's something that you can eat. Photosynthesis, the equation for photosynthesis is energy from the sun is used to fuel carbon dioxide and water being turned into glucose, C6H, 1206 and oxygen. So look, energy from the sun is what fuels this reaction that takes carbon dioxide out of the air and water from the ground or out of the air and combines them to make sugar which can be stored in the form of an apple. What do we do with our apple? Oh, you know it's true, home kids. Who doesn't like a good apple? My husband likes to eat the apple and then throw the core in the driveway for our friend, the possum. We call him Dr. Pouchy, and he comes and eats the apple cores every night. 
And it's so fun. We, he's got a little kink tail, like he somebody attacked him. But he loves the apple cores that we leave out there for him. And we wave, hi, Dr. Pouchy. Because possums have pouches. Okay. When you eat the apple, you go through the process of cellular respiration. And I know we've talked about this. This is like our example. When you take the glucose... C6H12O6, and you combine it with the oxygen that you're breathing, and you produce ATP, energy. Let's, I don't want to say ATP because it's, let's just say energy. And we'll do ATP as an example. And I say that because there's a little tiny part of me that's like, is it always ATP? And I'm going this direction because I ran out of room. ATP plus, what do we breathe? We breathe in our oxygen so that we can burn our sugar. And we breathe out what? Carbon dioxide and water. Do you agree? Do you see this? They're backwards. Do you agree? Cellular respiration is just photosynthesis backwards. And photosynthesis is cellular respiration backwards. That's it. All the energy in living systems, this is where it comes from. This is how we do it. Now, it's transferring energy. We're transferring from nuclear fusion light energy into chemical energy of glucose into chemical energy of ATP into action, motion, work. And that's not 100% efficient. And so I have another, let's see here, I have a just a really quick visual for you of where this work is happening where these processes are happening, and um, our laws of, of energy transfers, which were that they're not 100% efficient. So look, here I've got the sun. Let's see if you can see this. I've got the sun. I've got a chloroplast. That's where photosynthesis takes place. And I've got a mitochondrion. This is where um, cellular respiration takes place. Okay, and this is just showing us that energy is transferred, but it can't be created or destroyed. Remember, we have energy from the sun that's captured in the form of glucose. That happens in the chloroplast. And that process is called photosynthesis. When we take that glucose molecule and transfer it into ATP, that process is called cellular respiration. And what we know is that these energy conversions aren't 100% efficient, which means all the energy in the sun was not able to be transferred into glucose molecules. And does anybody want to guess how efficient is this? How much of the energy from the sun is captured in the chemical bonds of the glucose molecule? 5%. Five percent of the energy that comes in from the sunshine is actually effectively captured and turned into glucose. What about cellular respiration? How much of that glucose molecule then can be captured and stored as ATP, which is very easily used by your body? About 38%. So this is a little more efficient, the transfer from glucose to ATP, but again, definitely not. I mean, I don't know anything about machines and how efficient machines are, but that there's a significant amount of heat that is lost in these energy transitions. Okay, last thing, all of this, everything is chemical reactions. And do you agree that these chemical reactions probably don't happen easily? They don't. They require energy. And there's a player that we got to talk about who will help us make these chemical reactions happen. Without these guys, um, I don't think we would be alive for very much longer. <laughs>